Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to review a tripod mount for your cell phone from a company called Square Jellyfish. Now, that sounds like a funny name for a company, but they make a wide range of mounting solutions for your cell phones that allow you to take it with you when you're out in the field filming. Now I'm doing the clip because a lot of you guys asked me to cover some of the gear that I use when I'm out flying and filming for the afternoon. And this piece in particular has been in my kit since day one. I liked it so much that I actually bought a second one as a spare. And what it allows you to do very quickly and very securely is to mount pretty much any cell phone to a standard tripod thread. So most of the tripods on the market, whether they're small ones like these or large full-size tripods, have a quarter-inch thread on the top, which mates up perfectly with the bottom of this. Once that's attached to the tripod, you can snap your phone into it and then film whatever you happen to film. Now, I never used to use my phone a lot to film things, but in recent years, a lot of the cell phones out there have gotten really, really good as far as their cameras. So I use it an awful lot when I'm driving in the car to film clips or when I'm in the field as a second camera. And having a mounting solution that will move between these different tripods is a real advantage. So what I've got here is just an example is I've got a suction mount here from Joby. I use this in my car an awful lot, snap the mount into it when I'm driving around filming portions of a clip explaining what I'm gonna do that day. This is another Joby mount that I use in the field. It's got the grippy arms on it so I can hang it on a tree branch or whatever to use it out in the field. And both of these have that quarter inch thread I'd mentioned. Um, let me take a look inside the kit. So it's a very, very basic kit. I'll open it up real quick. What you've got to start with is a manual and the actual mount itself. Now the manual goes through in pretty painstaking detail all the things you can do with it. I'm going to explain those to you in the clip, but it's always good to read through the manual. Here's the mount. Now the mount, again, is very small and compact. I like that about it. It fits in my kit. You almost forget you have it. To use the mount, you flip up these two folding arms, which again, fold down for storage, and then your phone, you'll pull these apart, your phone will actually sit down inside there and be cradled by these arms. Now they've built these to be very durable. They've also added some nice rubber on the inside so it's gonna grip your phone securely, but it's not gonna scratch it up. On the back of it, you've got a knob for adjustment. If you loosen that knob, you can actually position the phone both vertically and horizontally. So no matter how you want to film, you can do that. You'll notice too, if you loosen it up a little bit more, you'll see that there's a bit of an adjustment side to side or up to down, depending on which way you've got it. And that allows you to make the adjustments you need to put it in the exact position for the recording you want to catch. On the bottom of this, like I'd mentioned, there's a quarter inch threaded shaft on there that'll actually fit any of the standard quarter inch mounts. So I'll throw this one on there real quick. And again, when I'm using it in the car, I'll stick that on the windshield and then I'll spin this thing around as needed to mount my phone. I'll snap my phone in there and then I can record what I need to record. So it's a very, very handy device. And again, the way you add that is to just drop your phone in here. Now the way I'll do that is hold it against one end and then just gently slide this open like that until the phone sits in there. And then once the phone's in there, I can pretty much have it at any angle I want. So I can set it aside like this and do my filming. I can put it in this tripod and hang it from a tree branch or sit it on a rock. And when I want to take it out, you just basically spread the arms apart like that, pull the phone out and you're good to go. Now, the adjustment range in this thing is pretty incredible, so it'll handle all the modern phones that are on the market today. It'll take any phone from two and a quarter inches all the way up to three and five eighths inches, so you can get the really big phones inside there. And again, as I'd mentioned, it'll do both a vertical orientation, or you can spin it to be a horizontal orientation as well. Uh, there's an offset adjustment inside there, so I haven't used that that much. I typically keep it centered, but I guess there may be cases where if I've got it in a horizontal position like this, I may want to offset it up and down to get the right angle, especially if I've got kind of a wacky mount on it. It folds very compact for storage, and again, when I put this thing away in my case, sometimes I have a hard time finding it because it's so small it ends up down the bottom of the case and I've got to go fishing around for it. Now they make two models of this. The one I'm showing you here is the Pro model. It's actually got metal all the way in the back. So it's an incredibly durable product. Again, I've had it for quite some time. I've used it almost every time I shoot and bring my phone along. Never had a single problem with it. They make a simpler version of this, which has got a plastic back. But the difference between them in price is about six bucks. This one, the Pro model, which is the best one they make, is about $17. So it's a small investment to actually get this type of versatile mount together. So for me, the difference in price doesn't justify buying the plastic one, but the choice is yours, depending on your budget and your needs. You probably can choose which one works best for you. They also make a larger version of this that'll handle tablets. So if you've got larger tablets that you want to mount on a tripod, you can use this as well. And again, what I love so much about it is because it's got that quarter inch threaded shaft on the bottom, or I should say that, that uh, column on the bottom, it'll fit on pretty much any tripod out there. Because even the larger tripods, the ball heads typically have a quarter inch stud on the top of it. And if they don't, you can make adjustments to whatever happens to be on there to bring it down to a quarter inch. So having this one mount means you can use the phone you've got 
The next phone you may buy down the road, uh, if it's a different size because of the elasticity of this, you can mount it in there and you're not gonna have to worry about upgrading it. Again, for less than 20 bucks, to have something that'll hold your phone incredibly stable, especially if you're doing time-lapse photos and stuff, the last thing you want is this thing moving around. When you lock this into place, it stays exactly where you pointed it. Now, I've tried a lot of these on the market. There are certainly a lot of companies that make these that are less expensive. And I found that as I use those, maybe the six months into it or a couple of months into it, the springs will give out or one of the arms will break. So they're just not built to be durable. This one, again, is the one that I've had since the beginning and I use it more often than any other part of my kit because I'm always taking that phone with me and either using it for like secondary footage that I'm capturing or I'll use it as a monitor for the camera or whatever I happen to be doing that day. So I usually keep a second tripod around, mount it on there and then I can use it for whatever I need. So anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Again, it's made by a company called Square Jellyfish and I've used a lot of their products and always had really good luck with them. Uh, for 17 bucks or 18 bucks, you can't beat it. Now I'll leave links down below where you can go to Amazon and you can check this out. I'll probably put links in there for these two as well. I didn't talk much about this one, but this is my favorite windshield mount made by Joby. I'm gonna do a separate clip on this to explain what it's about, but this is built to be incredibly durable. And when you stick this to the windshield, it stays there. And I've hung heavy DSLRs off it and it's not going anywhere. I like that it's got a single knob for adjustment so I can move both ends of it simultaneously. The thing I like the best about it is this locking mechanism up top because with one twist, you actually lock this to your windshield so it sucks in. You don't have to deal with that, the whole lever thing. But I'll do a separate clip on that. This clip was mostly to talk about this square jellyfish mount. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions for me, please drop them below. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Uh, I really enjoy putting these clips together. I know it isn't a drone clip and a lot of you guys come here for the drone clips, but if you're out flying your drone and you're filming, stuff like this is probably something you'd want to throw in your kit to have along with you. So again, thanks an awful lot for watching. I hope you find these clips helpful. I've got a bunch more stuff coming, so be sure to stop back soon. And until next time, happy flying. Thank you.